in this video i'll explain how to do cluster analysis using proc fast clause in sas proc fast clause is is used for uh, disjoint cluster analysis so uh, what it does is it divides the observations into different clusters it do not uh, it doesn't uh, form uh, tree structures uh, as in the uh, cluster uh, procedure um, uh, it it uses euclidean distance and the least square measures in order to find out the clusters also known as the uh, k means cluster it uses only one iteration by default um, so it, it tries to minimize the number of iterations um, so there are only few iterations uh, than we have seen in other uh, clustering procedures uh, this is very sensitive to uh, outliers so uh, this procedure can also be used for uh, outlier detection uh, it works well uh, with large data set so whenever we use it we should ensure that the data set is uh, having large number of observations to illustrate this procedure uh, i am going to take the data set uh, iris data the uh, very popular iris data which is used for uh, clustering so the syntax is like this prop pass class data and then i'm using uh, the uh, iris data so let me save the iris data first uh, this this is how the iris data looks like that we have got three uh, flower species um, and then their corresponding sepal length uh, sepal width petal length and petal width so based on the uh, different attributes uh, width and length of the flower we want to group these flowers into different species okay so the syntax is like this uh, proc pass class data and then the data set then the number of uh, clusters that we want um, we want three clusters and then the max maximum number of iterations uh, we have just given it as 10 uh, and then uh, in the out data set so uh, what will be the out data set where the cluster uh, the different cluster names will be there um, and the in the in the var clause uh, we have the uh, the number of variables available with us so let us run this most important thing to see is to see uh, whether the convergence has uh, is satisfied or not and it says the convergence is satisfied so uh, what we will be looking at is the uh, the out data which will have the uh, groupings now you can see against every observation you have the uh, name of the clusters so we, we have asked for three clusters and you can see the groupings now what we can do is that we can just see uh, the uh, distribution of different clusters and the species and for that I'll just run a prop frequency so it, it just just to see the accuracy so how we can identify the clusters to the corresponding species is like this. You can see that for Siddhosa, uh, the cluster 2 is there because for cluster 1 and 2, it's the, the number of identified uh, flowers is just 0 for both. Similarly, uh, Versicolor, which is another species, is nothing but the cluster 3 because maximum number of flowers belong to that category. Uh, and then for Virginica, you can see uh, cluster 1 is the one which is identified to that uh, species. The uh, accuracy rate is good with Sidosa and Versicular, but there is slightly uh, slightly issue with uh, the uh, Virginica, where you have 14 misclassifications happening, um, whereas only two misclassifications in the case of Versicular, and there is absolutely no misclassification in the case of so that's how we do uh, cluster uh, clustering or cluster analysis using uh, prog fast class.